just a few weeks back, I'm, I'm telling you, I was convinced Dr. I was going to lose this case. And now more and more and more has come forward that he is no doubt, in doubt about it, Satoshi Nakamoto. And I'm going to show you guys right now how, how early Genesis blocks have actually moved. I'm going to break down the court case uh, that shows it inside the testimony. And I'm also going to show you where on the blockchain you could see it, where it was moved, and why it was moved according to a court order. So stand by to the end. First of all, shout out to Ayoshi. He was the one that brought this to my attention. And it just needed a little further analysis uh, inside of the actual docket. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So stand by here and we're going to break it all down. I'm also going to do a, also just do a, before we do that, I want to also, just a quick plug. There's going to be a huge event. It's going to be a, well, it's going to be a much bigger event than I realized. It's going to be on the 16th and 17th in San Francisco. I got the agenda today. It's going to be by s -Crip. It's a hackathon. Uh, put on by Sino Trinity and there's going to be guys there like David Case of Ordinals, Script. Uh, apparently the, the top developer in the whole Bitcoin space, this guy is Mr. Wang by Script. That's a, that's according to Xiaowei Lu. This guy's amazing. Ty Everett, Project Baverage, heard a lot about him. Uh, Jake Jones, he seems to be the one in, in charge of the Terranode project, which is this massive scaling you know, to 1.5 million transactions a second. Our friend Kurt Walker Jr., we know very well. He's going to be there doing a speaking about uh, future of mining. Thomas Giacomo, Thomas Giacomo, he's also from the Bitcoin Association. There's his Twitter, and then Joshua Petty, uh, Coin Yeezy on Twitter. He's the founder of Twitch. So there's a there's the link right there. It's on my Twitter page. You could book discounted rooms. Just a quick plug on that. Now let's go ahead and get into exactly uh, what we want to talk about in this video here. So. All right, so to take you back and decide this case, Ira Kleiman sued, the estate of Ira Kleiman sued Craig Wright back in 2018 for the Bitcoin holdings, 1.1 million plus Bitcoin. Ira Kleiman lost. He was determined not to be a partner and Craig Wright was determined to be the only one uh, in control of these holdings, of the Bitcoin holdings. All right, so huge case precedent. And for those who already know this, information who are on the very inside, like the freaking attorneys or the, the legal team, they already know exactly what's going on here. So this is all not news to any of them. Mm -hmm. But I will show you, uh, it is news about the actual Bitcoin wallet addresses moving all right, from the early days. I'm going to show you how and, and how they're linked. Now, here's a motion that was withdrawn by Ira Kleiman's team, where they said uh, that they've agreed to accept service on a writ, writ of possession, or I'm sorry, writ of writ of uh, attachment, where they're trying to attach the the financial holdings of Dr. Wright uh, and accept this writ. So they stipulated, they they filed, they had some sort of a settlement between the attorneys, and they said we'll accept service on this, and basically we'll perform within the next 30 days, or we get a def default judgment. We'll basically you know file an answer within 30 days. So there's there's a, a an action, a court action, an instrument that's being acted on right now this is a this is what i would call it being acted on now so now let's go back into what's being acted on because there's a large amount of money it's something like 144 million dollars that needs to be paid or you know let's say it's millions of dollars that need to be paid the exact number i'm not sure so we've got uh dr Wright's back all the way back on august 5th 2019 inside the same case he filed this, this his attorneys filed this notice to the court that he was filing an exhibit that he introduced into evidence on 2019 in front of the court. So there's a hearing on 2019 and I'm going to break down. I'm going to take you right inside that hearing. I got the transcript, the freaking real juicy stuff. I'm going to pull it up here in a moment. So stand by now, but this is about after that hearing, he filed this evidence saying, and it was about the Bitcoin wallet addresses that he had control over. All right. So in one, I'm just going to look, I'm going to highlight just one address because this is 455, uh, not nine pages of addresses. All right, so he. I'm just going to highlight one, and it's very important because the date is specific. It's actually this address here. It ends in N C N B. I I've got it highlighted. Now that address is actually going to be showing up here in twenty. Boom! Right here on blockchain.com explorer, you'll see that same address right here. Right N C N B, Bitcoin address. 50 BTC was sent out of the wallet uh, just a few days ago. Somebody just moved the uh, 50, 50 Bitcoin out of this early 2010 address. 
All right, we got August 11th, 2010. That's important because of what I'm gonna show you in the transcript on the date. So take note of that address. That address has just been moved. Somebody just sold 50 BTC out of it. All right, so now let's look at the court order itself. Okay, so this is the transcript, not the order. This is again, the same case, docket 264. Evidence here, this is the transcript from the evidence hearing before the magistrate judge. Appearances are made. So now if we go down uh, to page 19, page 18, they've got Mr. Shatters appearing as a fact witness, not an expert witness. Question, Mr. Shatters, how many criteria did you use to conduct your analysis? A, answer, there were six total criteria. What is the first criteria that you used to, to window down the universal of Bitcoin address to, to a more narrow universe of Bitcoin addresses? Answer, well, the first address, the first was a date range. Dr. Wright asserts that he was mining between a pair of dates beginning from the first block, January 3rd, 2009, through the 21st of August, 2010. So I excluded any addresses outside that range. Skipping ahead a little further now, inside the court order, we got page 50, uh, Hear that noise? 51. Shout out. Uh, question from the attorney. Now you, you, so you had, uh, Dr. Wright gave you a date cutoff. Is that right? Yes. August 21st, 2010. So Dr. Wright said, I don't want you to look at anything beyond 20, uh, August 21st, 2010. Well, correct. Well, he didn't say that. He didn't want me to look at it. He just said that he, he stopped mining until that date. That's when he stopped mining. All right, so we, we've now seen the transcript of what, what he talked about, right? And, and this transcript is prior. So this is the hearing. And then shortly thereafter, the document, under the threat of contempt, Dr. Wright was uh, compelled to file just a few days later, right? Provide notice of filing the exhibit according to the, 20, the August 5th hearing. So that was the hearing we were just reading. And then this is the the notice that he's filing these exhibits. And in that exhibit, one of the addresses, and I invite anyone like Rayushi or others to take the time to go through and find out how many more there are. Uh, sorry, I think there's at least 10 that we've seen, but I'm not gonna do 10, it's gonna take too long. So we've got one address right here. That That's the one address that's definitely in this as evidence according to um, those early Bitcoin blocks. Now we've seen it's in this court testimony and now we see that there's a reason to move those blocks. Why? Because we got an order here. They there's a stipulation between the parties in the same case where these guys have stipulated, you know, according to a meeting confer, uh, parties will accept service of a writ and accordingly uh, plaintiff's motion for default judgment was, was withdrawn because defendant right, he wasn't performing on paying the bill, paying the debt. You know, it's like 144 million. So now there's an order by the court, a stipulation. They're withdrawing the motion. They're not going to have to go through and fight about it. And Wright's going to stipulate, according to what the attorneys are saying, to pay. That's what he's stipulating to. And so now, according to that block explorer, we know we know we know that same address right there. It just moved. So people who are saying whale whale moved. No, that that's not. Yeah, it's a whale, but that's Doctor Wright. I mean, we we've now. Put that together according to the court testimony. Now, I'm not just saying, oh, conspiracy. I'm reading to you a transcript. I'm reading to you the testimony and the stuff that's been submitted as evidence inside climate. So there's a big difference between internet nonsense and evidence inside the, here, the court. Now, that has been accepted as evidence, and these addresses are in there. So that's good. That's that's is is a, is an issue of fact that's been determined by the court, meaning that that is one of the addresses inside the court case that belonged to Dr. Wright. Now we know that that address has just moved 50 Bitcoin. All right. So he obviously has control to sell 50 Bitcoin right here, uh, which is a total of three point two million dollars to to get paid. Now we also see that there's motive for him to get paid because of the court order for him to sell those. All right, so I would I want to thank Ryushi, you know, on Twitter for really kind of bringing this to my attention, uh, and you know, it really just breaking it all down. So hopefully, yeah, it's crazy as we as we're outside of uh, the 
the big Satoshi identity trial right now, this thing just happens. And I wanted to get it out there so that the court can take notice of this because, hey, the court can take notice of whatever he takes notice of. He's in, he's the judge. He's Judge Miller is, is the one in control of the case that's going to make the decision. And if something big like this happens in another case and the dots are now connected, that, wow, cryptographic proof, the keys are moving from the early Genesis blocks. Oh, wow, this is not just some coincidence. There's court orders and evidence hearings that I've just read through on the transcript, which the court can see for himself in determining, well, okay, all the other stuff aside, now we're obviously seeing these early keys uh, these early blocks moving and they're all, and they're linked to Dr. Wright according to this transcript. So that's the determination that the court's made. And now I've just connected the dots thanks to Ryushi and hopefully the, uh, the court in uh, court can take notice of that. You know, ultimately uh, it's just now, uh, this is just one more piece. It's not obviously before the, the COPA trial, it's not there, but it is something that the court could in his own determination. If he wanted to take notice of it, he could. So this is videos out there and hopefully you can get this over to him and he can decide what he, how he feels about this information. Because I'll tell you right now, uh, there's just too much, uh, too much doubt on the COPA side, way too much doubt from the experts. They could not be, prove beyond a reasonable doubt. There was just like, we broke down in yesterday's video on the, on the, all the fatal holes that they had in their case. And now um, the big thing about moving keys and from the early Genesis blocks our, the early Bitcoin addresses is all happening right now. I mean, that's just one. I think it's a total of 10 for sure that we've seen from the Tulip Trust documents. So that was the Tulip Trust uh, documents. That's what that was from. So if you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, get the word out there, man. You know, we're looking for the trial starting back up and closing on Monday. And, uh, you know, thanks to Ryushi. And don't forget to subscribe to that, uh, to meet up, to go to San Francisco. I'm going to put a link on the... Uh, I'll put a like a little video at the end. You can find the video to how to do it if you want to uh, look at it again. Otherwise, go to my Twitter page and you can see in my one of my recent tweets, there's a link on how to register and how to get the discounted rooms at the Fairmont Hotel. I'll see everybody at the top. I'll see you at the top.